This is part 11 of Angular CRUD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss why is it not a good practice to use the browser built-in date picker control, installing NGX Bootstrap and finally using the NGX Bootstrap date picker component in our Angular application. First, let's understand why is it not a good practice to use the browser built-in date picker component. This is because the implementation of date picker component is different from browser vendor to vendor. This means our end users may have different experience depending on the browser they use. Let's understand this with an example. So here is what we want to do. We want to capture the date of birth of an employee. Date picker control is very useful when capturing dates from users. Now when we use HTML5 input type date, the browser automatically displays its built-in date picker control. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip over to Visual Studio Code. Notice right here we have the phone number HTML. So this is the HTML that displays this phone number field on our create employee form. Now let's copy this HTML and let's paste it after the department drop-down list and then we'll change the bits that are required. Now we want this field to capture date of birth. So first of all, I'm going to change the label here to date of birth. And let's change the for attribute to date of birth. And we'll set date of birth as the value for ID, name, and ng model. And at the moment, the type attribute is set to text. I'm going to change that to date. Notice we have the date of birth field displayed as expected. Now since we have set input type to date, the browser, in this case Google Chrome, is going to display its built-in date picker control. So when I click on this icon right here, we have the Google Chrome built-in date picker control and this is how it looks like. To go to the previous month, click on this button. And to go to the next month, click on this button. When I click on the month name right here, we see all the months in the year 2018. To go to the years before 2018, scroll up and to go to years after 2018, scroll down. And whenever we select a date from the calendar, the respective date is populated within the date of birth input field. Now let's take a look at the same date of birth field in Firefox. Notice within Firefox, we don't have that little icon right here. And whenever I click on this text box, the date picker control pops up. And notice this date picker control is very different from the date picker control that we have on Google Chrome. So this means our end users have different experience depending on the browser they use. What we want here is consistency. There are many third-party date picker controls that we can use to provide consistent experience to our end users. NGX Bootstrap Date Picker Control is one of them. To see the list of all third-party UI components that we can use in an Angular application, navigate to this URL, angular.io forward slash resources. As we scroll down on this page, we will see a section called UI Components. It's right here. And at this section, we see all the third-party UI components that we can use in an Angular application. As you can see, NGX Bootstrap is one of them. When I click on this, it's going to take us to their website. This website has got all the documentation for installing, configuring, and using their UI components. When I click this Get Started button, we have the installation and configuration instructions on this page. And on the left right here, we see all the UI components that this framework provides. And Date Picker component is one of them. To use the NGX Bootstrap Date Picker Control, we will have to first install and configure the framework itself. And here are the three steps to do that. The first step is to install the NGX Bootstrap Framework. And here is the NPM command for that. We execute this command from the command prompt. I've already executed this command, so I am not going to execute it again. When you execute this command, it's going to install NGX Bootstrap into the Node Modules folder. The second step is to install the Bootstrap itself. We can use either Bootstrap 3 or Bootstrap 4 with NGX Bootstrap. We have already installed Bootstrap 3 in part 1 of this video series, so I'm not going to execute this command either. And the final step is to reference the Bootstrap style sheet within the Angular CLI JSON file. Again, we have already done this step in part 1 of this video series. So if we take a look at the Angular CLI JSON file, it has got the styles property within that 
and within the styles property notice we are referencing the bootstrap style sheet and this is coming from the node modules folder so these are the three steps to install and configure ngx bootstrap framework now let's look at the steps required to use the ngx bootstrap date picker control first within our app module let's import the date picker module from ngx bootstrap slash date picker package and we also need to include this module within the imports array of our at ng module decorator so right here let's include the bs date picker module and on this we need to call for root method so this is how we import the bootstrap date picker module and then within our create employee component let's change the type from date to text when we have the type as date the browser is going to display its built-in date picker control and that's not what we want so I'm going to change the type to text and to use the bootstrap date picker control I'm going to use the directive BS date picker notice at this point when we click within the date of birth field we have the date picker control displayed but the styles are not being pulled through that's because we forgot to reference the date picker style sheet so we do that within the angular CLI JSON file so within the style section we need to reference the date picker style sheet notice this is coming from the ngx bootstrap folder within the node modules folder at the moment our server is running in watch mode so let's stop and start it again for the changes to take effect we are on the list page at the moment let's navigate to the create page and let's scroll down when we click within the state of birth field we get the ngx bootstrap date picker control when I click on the month name right here we see all the months in the year 2018 when I click on the year we see the year range we can move backwards and forwards and when we select a date the selected date is populated within the date of birth field also notice it's automatically captured by the angular generated form model against this property date of birth now let's see how it behaves in Firefox first let's reload the page notice when we click within the date of birth field we get the same date picker control even in Firefox and hence we have the same experience now if we take a look at our create employee component notice on this date of birth input field we're using this directive BS date picker with this directive in place when we click within the date of birth field we get the date picker control and this is great for capturing a single date like date of birth how about capturing a date range for example let's say you have an open job role and you want to capture a date range for accepting CVs we can very easily do this using ngx bootstrap date picker all we have to do is instead of using BS date picker directive we use a different directive for that and that is BS date range picker notice now when we click within the field we have a different interface using this interface we can capture a range let's say we want to accept CVs between January 1st 2018 and February 28th 2018 notice the selected range is automatically populated within the input field we also have it captured by the angular auto generated form model at the moment the date picker is using the default green theme now we want to change this to dark blue theme so it matches with the rest of the form also notice the default date format is month date and then year we want to change it to date month and year at the moment we don't have a default date we also want to set a default date and finally this input field is panning across the entire width of the form we want to limit its width so the point that I'm trying to make is this date picker component is highly configurable in our next video we'll discuss how to customize this date picker component to meet our requirements now if you're wondering how do I know the names of these directives that is BS date picker BS date range picker and what they do well that's from the documentation so if you look at the ngx bootstrap website on the left you have the different UI components when you click on date picker you have all the documentation that you need on this slide we have our first example if you want to capture a single date like date of birth all you have to do is on an input field use this directive 
BS Date Picker. If you want to capture a date range instead, use this directive BS Date Range Picker. Thank you for listening and have a great day.